day everyone I'm Mike like and I'm playing the banner saga I recommend this game by someone who knows my taste in games and said I really enjoy it and from what I know about it I played a little bit into it just so that I won't be absolutely rubbish when <laughs> I play it for you guys it's a turn-based strategy game each one of your units as a has different abilities and you move about the screen attacking enemies and it's turn based so you go they go you go and there's a little bit of uh, base management going on so you have some resources and well you get ideas kind of hard to describe but you'll see and the first thing that struck me about this game is absolutely beautiful I have a thing for really pretty games as you'll see from my salt series if you watch that that's also a very pretty game in a very different way. This game is also very nice looking. The other thing that struck me about this game was that there's not a whole lot of options. There's no this sounds you're off or on, or that's music rather. This is the sound effects, and there's no no way to choose a resolution or anything like that. Not a big deal, but nice if. You could do that. That's the first thing I looked in to see if I could turn down the music as it was quite loud. I could do that in post processing, so it's not a big deal. And now, without further ado, we're going to jump in. The now the intro is a little bit long. Now I'm going to let you guys skip it by clicking down at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to leave it there in case you want to skip it. Otherwise, we're going to proceed right into it. I don't know if there are new games. There's quite a bit of tutorializing. Now, if you skip the intro, you'll jump right into the first battle. Otherwise, we're going straight ahead. So the story in the banner side changes based on the choices you make. You occasionally switch between lead characters witnessing the story unfold from different points of view. The gods are dead. In their wake, Man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an area of now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped the sun. Okay, that's uh, kinda weird. Stoic Several long months on the road, the first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, the largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path to Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. What a pretty city. Right. 
Already. Okay, I'm just gonna click through this because this is tutorializing. You see? <laughs> Very pretty game. Hey, there's a bear there. I never noticed that before. Should have let him loose. Okay. So, move this guy up here. Wait, no. Okay, I clicked this off first. And you're going to get some. So, you can do five damage. And this guy only has five health. So, I'm going to use it. The other thing was to break his armor so he did, you do more damage and he does less damage. But because I could kill him in one hit, I'm just going to do that. So if you like, you can pause it to read those. I don't need to do that. So this would be to, there's a stat over here, willpower. I could add one to my willpower to kill this guy more, but I only need five, so I'm not going to do that. And every time you kill somebody, you get renowned. So that's what you use to level up, guys. Now, hopefully this music doesn't give me a copyright strike. I'm really hoping it isn't. That's what he's saying. Shield bearer as shield bangers. Eye armor. Warhawk's turn. So... Just like I was showing you for the willpower before. To do more damage, you can also get him to move more. And there I use up two of his willpower. And this guy got an ability called Tempest. That I can use to hit both of these guys now. That uses up willpower as well. That guy went down pretty easy. Only one enemy left. Enter pillage mode. No more guaranteed turns. Okay. Um. Oh. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't attack him. And I do that. So without this on, I'm only going to do eight damage. And he has 9 health. So adding 1 to my willpower, I knock him right down. And he falls into whatever the coals or something here. So this was a very easy battle. I have it on normal. one struggle for another now that there are no more threats to war against we war against ourselves this chieftain meant to kill me and he's not the first a dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair this one had men waylaying merchants both north and south of the city strangling trade quite well i would add though he denied it to his last this sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off it just grows a new head way my friend help me finish this fight and i'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's title take any men you need they're loyal i promise you that they will meet you down in the proving grounds neat i like the architecture thanks to go over scandinavian feel i suppose only the sun has stopped You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the great halls. He cuts to the chase. 
Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Uben, isn't it? I'm gonna say this is where uh, you choose what you say. So I'm this guy. The guy who kicked down that door? It is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Say, what do you have in mind? I didn't exactly agree. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Scaffolds that you didn't act up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor wants to make sure they stay down. I was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Okay. A little bit intrigue. Oh, they're definitely going for Vikings. They got the longboats right there. Kind of neat, too. Great morale. Or, kind of neat, too. You see this? Well, I hope you can see the mouse, anyway. Kind of looks like, reminds me of, um, I guess, Northern Lights, I suppose. Don't really see Northern Lights in my part of the world. Only occasionally. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases, canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Had. I'm not in the mood today. For what? Talking to an idiot. Scaffolding's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me that what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into. Nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... They don't talk to me. Okay, I don't talk to... They don't talk... Oh. Eric, need some help here? Had... I had a change of heart. I hope you do give us a hard time. As switched visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinket on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? That's a little money, yeah? Sure, why not? You toss a silver a sliver of silver on the table. Both one men look at you with surprise. Add gestures meekly to a variety of junk from a stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing I like is the name of a place. Nobleman, up by the east wall. But what was but that was months ago, last I know. Add squawks squawks. Squawk squawk. Add squawks away with a wave of Erix. I suppose it's Erix. It could be Erix. Eric's? Who cares? I'm calling Eric. Eric now. Gathering things with his hovel. Disappearing for a while until he, until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gunnolf, were you wearing green back at the green at the Great Hall? No, just bought him while we were walking around. Why? Okay. They look good. Sure. I'm glad you care. <laughs> God goes off to look at more stuff. <laughs> what is the point of that? Eric, the man of yours seemed unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he, he used to be scaffolding. Scoffing. Scaff, I don't know how to say the word. If they're licking their wounds, they're probably gone by the old haunts. Their ones. Where I come from, uh, was one of the first places, Nobleman's Mead Hall, that the Vikings landed in North America. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. And they settled in the northern part of the island of Levant, and they met the natives that lived there, the, the Beothic. Yeah, the Beothic. I think it was the Beothic. Could be another group. Anywho, that word, the scaffling, scaffling, looks very similar to what those Vikings called the natives. But 
if you know more about that, tell me in the comments. That's the little bit of knowledge I could dredge up. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these scales in the ground. Skulls in the ground? I'm going to find them. I'll meet you there. Shouldn't we have a approach of some sort? Where is this place again? After this, I'm done here. Shouldn't we have a approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you're already mopped up worse today. Let's make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to end it there. That's all the time we got for this one. The next one will be up fairly shortly. My schedule is Monday, Thursday, Saturday, but I don't have a set schedule of when I'm going to put out videos. I'm also doing salt at the moment. So it could be uh, two days or it could be four before you get the next one. Hope you've really been enjoying these. The way this series is going to work, because of the way the game is, there's going to be quite a bit of exposition and then some fighting. Sometimes more fighting than exposition. Sometimes quite a bit of exposition. So, as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribing, and comments, they're always appreciated. And I hope you catch me in the next one. This is Mike Likes signing off. Goodbye! Oh, he's gone. So if I would've kept the mask on, would he have left me alone? <laughs> oh god. Nice. Stop oppressing me. This is cool. It's good. Some coal from that dinner rock. Dimder rocks. Coal this one too, because it's black. I'm going to eat a Oh, I got some gold. Hopefully it doesn't poison me. He has lots of crunching for that mushroom. Right, he's still eating it. Thorn vine. Right there. Sand.